we all share the same planet? How should we manage our waste and water resources so that there's enough for everyone? Not just today, but also in the future. Water is one of the most common substances on the earth. Covering over 70% of the surface of the earth, it's easy to find if you know where to look. When there's no water, there's needless suffering. Poverty, disease, hunger, inequality, you name it. What makes this problem even worse is the lack of awareness in an individual. Ignorance towards the environment is the main cause of its depletion. So how do you know so much about the environment and its conservation? Well, that's because I'm smart. Actually, I participated in the workshop called What Are We Doing? organized by CMCA in partnership with NSIT and Biome Environmental Trust. It taught me a lot about water, its importance. It also taught me how we can save water. And also, I learned about active citizenship. All that sounds fun, but what is this active citizenship? Wait, wait, wait. There's so much more I have to tell you. Let's start from the beginning. What is it that you want to do or like to do in this one week? What is it that you expect from this program? Okay, one line. Then we dig just like that in our garden. We dig the top soil. That is 100 feet on the spongy layer. Before people knew how to dig wells, how did they get water? From the rivers. But slowly they had to live far and far away from the rivers. So the wells that people dug would come only say this deep because you can't dig very deep. So it will be 20 feet, 30 feet. The layers are three layers and uh, water seeps to all the layers. A well is dug in the first layer, whereas bore, well, bore wells go to the bedrock layer. Natural energy drink. Until 1960, there were 262 water bodies in Bangalore. Today, these have declined to about 81. The reduction of water bodies is as high as 35%, while in terms of water spread area, it shows a decrease of 8.66%. Water is unique in nature. It's been likened to the to an ecological bloodstream. If we look at the lakes in and around Bangalore, they approximately used to account for something like around 
or four and a half percent of the land area of the Bangalore region. And if you look at the number of birds which are supported by lakes and wetlands, they are quite disproportionate to the extent of uh, lakes and wetlands that we have. If you take the right approach, tell people in the government that this is my lake, this is my village, this is my town, this is my city, and I want to do this for posterity, for my people. And once the government sees a committed set of people wanting to do good, they can't refuse. This whole beautiful lake that you see was done in a record time of about 18 months. We were surprised to see so many creatures there. I mean, there were so many birds, so many fishes. I didn't know that the lake provides so much, I mean, uh, biodiversity to us. Lakes are being fast disappeared due to construction, buildings and roads. Unless we restore and rejuvenate it, we won't have anything for our next generation. Children of Bangalore, please join us in our effort. To protect the lakes and other water bodies. For, for our, our future. future. Wells provide water to us at our doorstep. The wells talk to us, they communicate to us, they tell us about the resource scarcity of water. And they tell us to change our behavior to manage with whatever we have during summertime or during the season of plenty. Children should have an idea of what happens to the water once it's used up in their homes. So once you come to a sewage treatment plant, you know that there's a whole mechanical process involved in picking up the sewage and converting it to treated water. All these interlinkages become clear when we do this kind of a transect walk, where we start from a well, see a lake, see a wetland, and see a sewage treatment plant. Well, actually, we went to the sewage plant in Jakko Lake, and over there we learned like how the water of the lake is being purified. The water is more costly for the poor. They are not getting the sufficient amount of water. They need to struggle a lot to get a bucket of water. Like equality should be there with water. No differences among them. Like the rich gets more, the poor get less. It shouldn't be like that. community is a gated community uh, spread across 34 acres 
and we are completely dependent on uh, ground water. Over a period of time, we have developed a costing model for water and uh, which includes the cost of treatment as well as uh, investments in rainwater harvesting and discounts for residents also. So the basic message I would like to give to the other communities is um, taking charge. Building money, Mele or Maleni Rella on Paypal Bandi, a filter bitty, Adu filter given Bavitra, Alunum Bavitra Madidro, Adolke, Nirella Bandi, Serpent. Lakes as a rainwater harvesting, part of the rainwater harvesting system is probably as important. We at CMCA are active citizens. Are you?